Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Greetings from Mauritius. Uh, happy to be with all of you in the context of the AXIC Conference 2021. Uh, maybe I'll start with a few words describing a bit about our jurisdiction, Mauritius. Mauritius being a jurisdiction of substance and repute uh, at the nexus or flows into uh, Africa and Asia since more than uh, three decades. In fact, Mauritius borrows uh, its name from uh, a Dutch emperor in the 16th century, where the Dutch, in fact, uh, conquered the island. And uh, Mauritius finds now itself, previously it was known as the Star and Key of the Indian Ocean. Now it finds itself maybe in a sort of scenario with regards to global flows traversing the island, and fueling uh, development projects, etc., in Africa. So, uh, in 1989, in fact, if we just uh, take a glimpse at history, so uh, Mauritius uh, had embarked three decades ago on a sort of opening of its economy with the suspension of exchange control, the creation of the uh, global business sector, and the implementation of the stock exchange of Mauritius. And uh, as of now, so we've uh, traversed uh, a, a long sort of ride and we've entered now into an era where our capital markets uh, have blossomed up to a certain extent where we find ourselves uh, in a way where we've attracted a lot of companies, uh, instruments, international flows, etc., using our capital markets. So we've moved to another level. Uh, and, and now maybe I'll just uh, drop a few lines about who we are. So what is Perigian Capital? So Perigian Capital is a corporate boutique finance firm. We are licensed by the Financial Services Commission of Mauritius. Uh, we got our advisory license when the FSC came forward with the, uh, this specific license. In 2017, we were the first firm to have applied to obtain that particular license. Afterwards, many others followed suit, even the big four followed suit afterwards by uh, applying for that specific license. What does this license mean for us? It enables us to focus on our two specific sort of uh, uh, lines, lines of, uh, of business. One is connected with dealing with the stock exchange of Mauritius, uh, where we accompany uh, listed companies, listed entities, mainly uh, global business companies, which seek to list on the original stock exchange and many of which have endeavored to seek dual listings, cross listings on regional exchanges like the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, the Namibia Stock Exchange. In fact, one of the clients uh, is a leader in the real estate sector in Mauritius, uh, in fact got a triple listing on the London Stock Exchange uh, two and a half years ago. So uh, apart from that, so uh, we also act as a listing sponsor and SEM, so Stock Exchange of Mauritius authorized representative, SEM authorized representative for those particular companies who normally uh, fall in terms of their continuing obligations post their listing. Maybe I'll just share a word with you with regards to one major achievement, a landmark transaction that we just achieves uh, two months or three months ago. In fact, it was during COVID, the second lockdown in Mauritius. We uh, had steered the listing as co-arranger and a joint uh, placing agent for one business, a global business company who had uh, resorted to issue bonds, secured notes, to the tune of approximately GBP 85 million, or in Mauritian terms, uh, rupees, uh, 5 billion. Uh, it was a landmark transaction amongst many others in the past three or four years since the existence of Perigian Capital, the setting up of Perigian Capital in the year 2016. So maybe I'll just speak a bit about what do we do and maybe about some transactions where we've been involved, some landmark milestones. So we, so Perigian Capital, the team at Perigian Capital, we managed to steer uh, some very, we acted as a sort of pioneer with regards to some very important and uh, uh, very interesting listings. So we were the first company to uh, cross-list 
uh, the first cross-listing of a global business company on both the SEM and the alternative exchange of the Johannesburg Stock Exchange in South Africa, which was a few years back. So also first listing and trading of shares of a global firm of the SEM, so operation capital steered that also. Uh, another one also with regards to the first international issuer which listed on the stock exchange under a specific chapter under the SEM listing rules. So we were the first to list such an international issuer. And the first company with shares listed and traded in pound sterling on the SEM, which was tiered again, guided by our team. Uh, first cross listing of a global business company on both the SEM and the Namibian Stock Exchange. This happened like, uh, I think, about four or five years ago. The first uh, uh, renewable company, energy company, to list on the stock exchange of Mauritius. So uh, it's our client. And we also had the first listing of a Mauritian domicile company on the main board of the London Stock Exchange. I think I referred to it previously. And uh, also, we were a part of a team. We were involved in the listing of one of the largest South African financial services company on the stock exchange of Mauritius. We also uh, steer other transactions on the stock exchange of Mauritius. I have in mind, there is a series of transactions. I'm just looking at that piece of paper in front of me, but I'll just uh, maybe uh, count it through a few, a, few, a few ones. Maybe I'll speak about the rights issue. There was a rights issue by uh, uh, this major real estate company, which is listed on the stock exchange of Mauritius and now on the London Stock Exchange. Uh, and it did a rights issue about, uh, it was three years back, so uh, about 85 uh, million pounds, so 4.8 to 5 billion Mauritian rupees. And also we advised uh, a real estate investment company on the stock exchange of Mauritius and the JSE with a market cap of 197 GBP million. Uh, from a SEM and also from a Mauritian regulatory perspective in the implementation of a court sanction scheme of arrangement under Jersey laws. So it was like, I think it was last year. It was last year, it started before COVID, and it ended, I think it was during, during COVID. And uh, our sectors of focus, so we are, we are not, uh, uh, I would say, so uh, we, we, we try, we like to, to focus on specific sectors, although we've added a few since COVID. So we've, uh, so far, we've focused on real estate, renewable energy, financial services, fintech, and lastly, healthcare and biotechnology. Because uh, just to, to give you an insight, we, uh, it was at the beginning of the year, in fact, we started last year to advise a, an Indian company a global business company which is incorporated in Mauritius in the global business sector and which has operations in the healthcare business uh, around Africa, mainly uh, northern, eastern, and eastern Africa and central Africa. So we've uh, managed to steer that listing on the stock exchange of Mauritius. It was, the listing was accomplished in February 2021. And now we have a few also candidates in the pipeline which uh, intend, intend to seek listings on the Mauritian Stock Exchange. They, they uh, emanate from fields like the healthcare, financial services, and others also. So apart from that, as I said to you, so we have a full-fledged team with regards to corporate finance. So we do the bread and butter corporate finance, so corporate restructuring, business valuation, uh, business modeling. And apart from that, we also advise on capital raising. So I, I also spoke about this bond issue, which we steer uh, during this year for one of our clients in the business sector, which is a landmark transaction. But apart from that, uh, I would say that we are guided also by uh, our team, our whole team, uh, apart from the fact that we uh, try to, to levy, uh, to leverage, to leverage on the, uh, our network in Mauritius and into Africa, especially the sub-Saharan sub Africa. But apart from that, also we have a certain very core values which uh, are centered around passion, integrity, commitment, innovation, connecting. Uh, as we like to say, so we are committed in delivering quality services and innovative solutions to our clients. We always put integrity at the forefront of our actions. We are driven by passion in providing businesses with a professional representation and insight that they need. Our team of professionals use their skills and expertise to connect 
like-minded individuals and tribes. I think, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I wanted to share with you, a bit about Mauritius, about the jurisdiction and the region, and also about our firm, Perugian Capital, which is a corporate finance advisory firm, which exists in its legal form since five years. And I myself, I hail from the stock exchange where I have been the head of this thing for many years before joining the team here in Perugian Capital. So thank you very much and uh, I wish you all very good and bright and uh, insightful deliberations during this uh, very auspicious conference in London. Thank you very much.